Today, we explore the Screaming Heads art installation in Berks Falls, Ontario. Artist Peter Kamini lives and creates art on his 300-acre property. Known as the Midlothian Castle, Peter's home is inspired by Druids in ancient Britain. Purchased in 1981, the property was a field until Peter planted 22,000 trees. The trees were planted to represent a South American jungle where ruins become overgrown and one with nature, a perfect fit for his home and work. All right, so we just made it to the Screaming Heads uh, art installment. It's basically the Screaming Heads forest, and this is really creepy because it's just a property. You're allowed to just roam around and look at them. But there's like no direction on where to go, but we just walked up on like a bunch of them. So check this out, guys. <laughs> oh my God. Nineteen ninety seven. Jesus. They're made out of concrete. You know how much effort that would take? They, like put it in rocks. What? This is nuts. I don't know what the rationale behind the screaming heads are, but they've definitely tr attracted tons and tons of people over the years for sure. Just walking through these, it's insane. You feel so small. Peter started building the screaming heads in 1989, standing 16 feet tall. Each sculpture weighs 16 tons a piece. The heads were made using poured cement, which the artist describes as a simple process that anyone can do. Similar to the idea of good and bad, the heads are always changing with the seasons and the light that falls or casts shadows upon them. It's like a rock pit in the middle too, or a rock piles, right? This is just part of it. This is just one set of them. There's like triangular ones and stuff too. I just even noticed too in the rocks, it's carved in with the screaming face. Huh. I also want to point out how thick this is. Like that's my hand in comparison. Like that is a solid piece of concrete, man. I guess it'd have to be though, cause it'd just fall over. It does remind me of like the scream, especially um, this one in the middle right here. Not not this big one, but that one right over there. Cause it's like kind of skinnier. So I don't know, it gives off that scream vibe. Okay, so that's the first area. Um, don't know where to go now. I know there's more. You can see from the road that there's more. I just don't know if it's publicly accessible. Look at this. Yeah, that's a creepy like Halloween kind of mask. The beginning of the end. That's creepy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the beginning of the end. Okay, creepy concrete face, that's fine. <laughs> Gone, but not forget. These are graves. This is a grave. These are graves. These are tombstones. Yeah. Huh. Every year a harvest festival is held on the property, lasting about three days. This year, there was a circus performance, a DJ show, multiple workshops, and different art installments around the property.
What is this? Guys, I have no idea what this is. They're teeth. That's what it is, it's a tooth. <laughs> That's supposed to be the, the roots, I think. You can see inside, they light up. What? Does this not look like a big tooth though? Kind of? Huh. This is just one of these kind of places that it's just got a weird vibe to it. Cause it feels like we're not supposed to be here, but there's literally parking for it. And I don't know. It's, I don't know. <laughs> so there's just a big fire pit. There's like tons of places for you to sit. And then there's just a big hand. So my thoughts on this place so far, it's, uh, it's super cool. It's nothing like I've ever seen before. I can say that. I think this is where like the majority of the stuff is. Bye. I think the giant hands are like, really quite cool. It's like this sculpture got caught by the cops. Kind of reminds me of like a Easter was it Easter Island heads or something? The heads that are like in the ground. So it reminds me of. I don't know if this is a horse or if it's a dinosaur, or if it's any of the above. Kind of looks like a horse. Or a camel. A camel? Yeah. Well, it's got a hump, so maybe. It's okay, guys. It is a horse. <laughs> it's just missing the guy's head. I guess it broke off. Or they didn't finish uh, carving it out yet, but... No, you, it's probably huh? I think it, yeah, most likely probably just broke. Hopefully nobody that came here broke it, though. Because that'd just be rude. Very Okay, so this one says male, and you're saying the other one's just a stick person with boobs. <laughs> you're right. What's insane to think about, too, is that there's 300 acres of property here, so the artists can just continue to keep making stuff because, like, there's tons of open space. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that there's some sort of, like, master plan of how everything's going to go down. Maybe not, though, but... I don't know, it's something I, like I've never seen before and I, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Especially it's free to come. Uh, you can donate at the front, I would recommend it if you're coming. And especially at fall, you get the fall colors in the background on the property. It's very, very nice. Here's another horse. I like how they put the, uh, the screaming head that's like a logo almost on them. Peter's idea behind these heads is that they look like survivors, or people looking to be rescued, but can't be, when us as humans can't even save ourselves. Haley just pointed out something I've been super neglecting to even look at. The uh, the way that the shadows get casted from these is super interesting too. We've pretty much gone to every single sculpture that I think we can get to that's different. This is the last one coming up. There's actually a garden right here. It's also starting to rain so uh, it's not great for the cameras and stuff, but we're going to go to this last one. And that'll be our little explore of the Screaming Heads in uh, Berks Falls, Ontario. We'll put an actual GPS coordinate. We'll put the artist's website in the description below. Go show him love. If, I don't know if he has any social medias or whatever, but even come here, support the work. Super cool. This is the last sculpture I think that we're going to be looking at. And this one's pretty unique. It's a uh, one that we haven't really seen. What is moody like this out? It's so, they're so ominous. Yeah. What does this one say? 
screaming heads. Makes sense. Last one, might as well put the name on it. There you guys go. That is the screaming heads of Ontario. So as we were pulling out, we noticed across the street that there is, there's more. So I guess the video's not done. And these ones are quite cool, they're like more intricate. So, we're gonna go check those ones out quickly. Here's one of them. Imagine if we missed this. I would've been so upset if I found out later. It's weird though, if you go, if you move, I think it becomes one at some point, doesn't it? Or is it a heart? It's kind of what it looks or, like. That's his mouth, right? And it's supposed and to connect. So if you stand back here, it kind of connects. You see what I mean? Like, that's like the uvula. Yeah. So we got a bunch of screaming tree heads amongst the actual forest, which I think is just cool. This is These are probably my favorite ones right here, just the way that they're set up, how you can see them all. Um, Here's the, uh, that one that when you go further back from the side, you can see the distance between them. These concrete screaming trees represent humans clear cutting forests, eventually only leaving a forest of concrete and destruction behind in its place. I wanna know how they move these here. This is probably my favorite sculptures out of the uh, ones that we've seen. I like the circular ones a lot, but I kind of like how the trees, the tree looking ones look the best. It's just me, but yeah, happy that Haley pointed it out because I thought we, we were probably going to miss this if she didn't notice it. She sees something. wonder what. Oh, there's more. There's more in the bush. Oh, these ones are funky. In the words of the artist, Amidst the heads and the discs, the solitude of the park envelops the visitors in a peculiar silence, a silence both quieting and disquieting, penetrated only by the eerie scream of the peacock. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this video of us exploring the screaming heads in Berks Falls, Ontario. If you enjoyed, make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you get notified of all the new videos coming out. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Noah Nowhere. Links in the description below. Make sure to follow her at Halatori on Instagram. Link will also be in the description below. We'll probably have a lot of pictures coming out of this place. So yeah, until the next explore, see you guys.